7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger is live now. And Marshall, the officer last night had to hit the ground to take cover. And getting down probably saved his life. Uh, that traffic stop happened here near 72nd and Sheridan. And what you're about to hear is that officer on police radio shortly after the driver shoots and takes off west here on 72nd. Now Westminster Police and Denver Police working together on two crimes that they believe are likely linked. On the graveyard shift, a Westminster officer approached a reddish Cadillac near this 7-Eleven just after 2.30 a.m. Listen as the officer is fired upon. <laughs> the bullet grazing the officer's side. Can you send medical for me? He would be okay. The driver took off. We found this 7-Eleven surveillance camera facing the right direction. The clerk, however, would not tell us if it captured anything. There are businesses in the area that we're checking to see if they have surveillance video, but we don't have any surveillance video. Westminster police now working closely with Denver. Their officers were shot at about 26 hours earlier and eight miles away near First and Vrain. They were not hit. Now police statewide getting constant reminders of the Cadillac and suspect description. It's given out in the roll calls at beginning of shift. It, it's sent out on the, the mobile terminals in the, in the cars. Do you believe you're dealing with someone who wants to be a cop killer? At, at this time, I don't think we can speculate on that. Um, obviously, okay. he's fired on two different law enforcement officers, so it's concerning us. This is not the Cadillac uh, itself, but it's close. Police looking for a reddish colored 2000 Cadillac Seville. In Denver, it had a South Dakota license plate. In Westminster, no plate, but a temp tag in the back window. As for the driver, Native American, dark hair and a ponytail with a thin, clean shaven face. And if the stop happened here, that camera at 7 Eleven from this vantage point may not have got anything. Reporting live in Westminster, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.